What is going on everyone? How are you guys doing? Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Feels like it's been a while since I've been here starting off my Worthless Wall Street series, giving myself one GP and working it on up to, you know, a little over 100 mil. But here we are. So this is, I guess, the inaugural uh, Merching with Bills episode. This is going to be number one, judging by the amount of cash that I have in the inventory. One bill and, uh, yeah, I gotta drop some of that. <coughs> But yeah, so we have one bill on this account, and uh, if you guys don't know, I'm just someone that likes to merch. I like to I like to do flips, I like to merch, I like to just mess around with the Grand Exchange in my spare time. So that's what this series is going to be predicated around, and this is going to be pretty much the progress of what I can do with one bill. Uh, I'll plan on doing pretty much weekly videos where I will show you the progress of what all I flip in game, and also along with that, uh, these, these are, don't, don't focus on these. Along with that, I'll be throwing out some of my ideas out there as far as what I think is going to go on and you know stuff that I like to do so it should really give you a good sense as far as how to go about merging how I merge granted I'm doing it with a large cash stack but you can apply a lot of the uh, logic and methods that I use for some of the higher priced items to you know low priced items as well a lot of this is transferable but this is where we'll start I have one bill and we'll see what I can do all right well here we uh, here we are so just bought my first alley that was a good 626.7 mil they dropped a lot today like 40 50 mil something like that i think i can go on over and show you guys real quick and uh yeah i guess this is where it's at right now so <laughs> i'm definitely in the middle of the drop uh if we look at it weekly it just it dipped hard but you know i i got confidence i got confidence you know it won't it won't keep going i don't think and uh wow this is this is something so this is this was scary i don't think i don't think i recorded a clip of it um i'll go on over there now and do it basically looking on over at ge tracker what i saw today was i was looking at le prices and they were 676 mil yesterday at this time they they dropped really bad right here and i bought in at 626 mil it continued to drop to 610 at which point i was I was a little nervous. I'm like, we're going to start off the series with a 15 mil loss? I don't think so. And instead of selling, I was like, all right, I've seen this happen a million times. I'm just going to stick it out because every time this happens, it doesn't go lower. Nothing drops 200 mil in a day. You know, that, that's coming back up. So as you can see, 642 mil, there's the buy of it for 626. So that's a 16 mil merch right there on one alley. This is why I'm going to love the series. But in addition to that, I have three Dragon Fire Wards selling right here. I made about 2 mil off of Dragon Fire Wards earlier for a couple flips real quick. Barely any gains. So, uh, <laughs> I ended up buying 3 Dragon Fire Wards for 72.1 mil. I bought another one later to see what the price is at. I was like, alright, fine. I was going to slow sell them. Uh, I didn't end up slow selling. Took a while to sell. And then I basically ended up losing 2 mil per one. Uh, only on 4 of them though. So I lost 8 mil. Uh, with Dragon Fire Awards, pretty disgusting. Not happy with myself there. But Ellie's, I did get uh, lucky again on. I guess not really lucky. They dropped a lot. Of, well, I guess, yeah. They, they ended up dropping about 622 mil this time. Uh, I got it 637, sold it for 640 or 646. Um, really, all in all, I made 600k, but <laughs> a lot of ups and downs there. So this finishes off yet another merch, not one that necessarily went the way I was hoping. Um, I, I guess I profited overall, uh, really like lingering somewhere in here. There's a series of seven armadillo chest plates and chain skirts that I bought and sold. Uh, the chest plates I ended up making 250k per one off of, so I made like 1.3 mil total um, off of six of them. And then the armadillo chain skirts, well, those I ended up losing about. I sold off a couple actually for profit. And then had to sell the rest off for what was about an 80k loss. So, I mean, all in all, I probably lost about 400k with the chain skirts. And I probably made about 1.4 mil with the chest plates and that shows here. Up to uh, one bill, 17.5 mil. And here we are. So, not a whole lot going on in the Grand Exchange at the moment. Um, looking back on <laughs> a lot of the things I did. This is the problem with uh, trying to keep track of most things. Most of the time, I'm just going to throw it off to the side and talk about it once I come back. Basically... I was merching ancestral robe tops for about 700k each. I merged about three of those. Arcane spirit shields were going for about 660k per one, and I merged actually my GE limit of those, so seven. Made some decent money there as well. Had a pretty big blunder with the tacits, but it didn't end up hurting me too bad. Uh, whenever I went to sell them, I tried to put them in for 28, like 200, but I put them in for 2.8 mil, and 
yeah, so I ended up into selling them all only for 110k loss per one, so I didn't lose much there. And then really just checking around margins. Spectral Spirit Shields have also done pretty good for me. About four of those merch for about 700k per one. I got a couple more of those selling off that I know can sell for this price, but the Dins are ones that I bought, and I think they're going to go up anyways in a sort of hype thing, but... I figure why not have them anyway so basically i counted up how much i have here at the price that i bought the dins at because i don't know if they'll sell at this and then i calculated this price as well overall up to 24.2 mil profit so there we go and here we are back again was only able to buy one arcane while i was gone but i made 1.2 mil on it so pretty happy about that the dins ended up selling for a two well, i don't have it in my backlog but 200 uh, closer to 300k profit per one so a good little 1.5 mil coming in there overall up to 26.3 mil and so right now my cash deck has gone up 10 mil basically what i did was i just flipped and did a lot of merching before raids 2 came out uh the night before just getting in on the margins i did an entirely separate video on that where i pretty much combined all my accounts for max cash and then merged with that i kept all of this accounts activities isolated to this account entirely so made about 10 mil on that made i think 10 mil on another account and then 15 mil on another another account so by no means did i favorite this account in finding merches or anything so happy with where i'm at now uh as of right now it is day of release of raids and stuff like the twisted buckler apparently has been dumped to the point to where it's 7.2 mil so well eh, not really not really uh, there's a couple that have sold off for this price but i mean if i can buy a buckler for 7.2 mil i'm gonna do it first flips of the day really since uh raids 2 has been released all right yeah, basically went ahead, checked margins, found that there was a 300k on rogue bottoms, a 500k margin on rogue tops, and an 800k margin on dragon warhammers. I then proceeded to make my money back with the rogue bottoms and a little bit more, making 600k on the rogue bottoms as far as the D warhammers go. <laughs> I mean, I've successfully bought and sold about five of them. Uh, four of them for profit, 800k per one, so uh, 3.2 mil there, and the robe tops, we've been able, well, hopefully, if they do sell, which is uh, not looking, I don't know, they're kind of they're chilling right now, but if they do sell, um, we'll be up about 1.4 mil on those, so there we go. Alright, so here we are now, as far as what I have going on, basically, I did a lot of merching earlier that's pretty much off screen now, I did make a decent amount of money, probably close to 5 mil, uh, off some code I want, some dragon claws, some random stuff in there not a ton of flips that i was really able to do a massive amount of because of how uh, drastic the prices have been changing but what i did find was that i really really did like where armadillo was at at the moment basically what i went ahead and did was uh I bought seven chest plates for 38.3 mil, I bought three chain skirts for 28.6, and then I bought seven helms for 3.6 mil. So I'll head on over to GE Tracker real quick and try to explain the logic behind that for, I mean, you know, <laughs> just just look, just look. If you, see, if you see this type of a graph where an item that maybe was being invested in for raids, maybe not, but whatever, it drops from 4.7 mil to 3.7, and then you go on a yearly scale, you're like, all right, what's the price of this normally? The lowest price it's been on the year is 3.4 mil and so to buy 200k above that when stuff's trending up anyways because of inflation and other things like i'm buying that all day so <laughs> went ahead did that and really that same logic applies i'll just show the chest plate as well just so you can kind of have an idea this is even more oh okay there that's that's more like it for some reason the prices weren't updated um question mark All right, so for, for some reason, oh, okay, uh, I'm really confused on what the prices are telling me right now, but nonetheless, same thing here, yeah, 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 right there, all right, don't focus on this, focus on this, <laughs> even if the price just went down for a few seconds, like up here, that's, that's fine, more than likely it's going to come back, but same thing here. Uh, 44 mil, we look on a yearly scale, the lowest it was was about 31, 32, but Armadillo actually has been just being more used throughout the year as well, so uh, buying at about this price right here, which is the price three months ago, I'm not too not too concerned with that either, so. All right, well, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys where I'm at as far as cash goes. Basically, what ended up happening was I sold off Dragon Hunter crossbows for about a 10 mil profit in total, two mil per Dragon Hunter crossbow uh, for five of them. One of them I bought to see the margin. 
as far as the Armadillo helmets, I made close to about 400k per one on seven of them, so that's close to three mil. The Armadillo chest plates, I actually made, I think it's yeah, 1.6 mil per one, so overall it's about eight mil. One of them I again bought to see the margin, and then along with that, did some arcane flips, was making 300k per one, about another mil there, another mil in Armadillo crossbows. All in all, the total cash deck we're at right now. Misclick. There we go. <laughs> One bill, eighty-five point two mil. Obviously, just insane. I've this is this has just been insane as far as flipping goes. But uh, I'm happy to keep on going. See what we can do. All right. So now I'll go through and talk about actually a little session where I lost money. It does happen every now and then, and I'll share it with you guys. I'm not going to hide that from you. So one of these code I wants, I insta bought and then sold at the same price, so it's just negated. Three of them I bought at 110.3 mil. So overall, there that's a 4.8 mil loss on Dragon Hunter crossbows. I bought three of these at 90.7 mil, so that's a 1.8 mil loss. And then I made 900k merging some Bando stats. It's just a nice little consolation prize. But yeah, all in all there, about a 5 mil loss in that merging session. Not too proud of it, but, uh, you know, it happens every now and then. Prices were pretty volatile yesterday, and I just decided to sell these. Uh, the code I want took me a long time, honestly. I would have been flipping a lot more yesterday, but I was just trying to get them to go. So now that I collect my money, I'm at 1 bill, 76 mil, almost on the dot. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me today. So hopefully you guys did enjoy. Basically, I mean, this is what I was expecting to do. This is what I enjoy doing. I love getting back to flipping, and now that I have more money than I've ever had, doing it it is just it's so much fun for me honestly with that said though i would like to hear what you guys have to say in regards to the extra money i make so i do have one bill and i have 76 mil now obviously we're gonna progress probably as much as we can towards a max cash deck i think it's high aspirations we'll see how i do but one thing i do want to do is with the side money i make off of every episode or at least part of it i'd like to start investing in items and holding on to them but i don't want to necessarily invest all the extra money i make because then i'm not really like no one's seen me progress a cash deck which isn't all that fun so i don't know what you guys think maybe like 25 percent of whatever i make at the end i go and then invest and show that in next video or show that in that video let me know what you think but yeah that is going to be it for me today hopefully you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to leave a like if you guys have anything you want to tell me comment down below subscribe to the channel you know the whole deal also have a twitch a discord a clan chat uh feel free to hit up all of that down below in the description but with that said hopefully you guys do have a wonderful day and uh peace